Hello again, everyone. This is Zombie Kids Rule, and I'm back with another RPG Maker MZ uh, tutorial. And I'm trying to remake this video. I, I tried to make a video yesterday and uh, covering plugins, and I ended up covering four plugins, and the video got really long. And then I realized that it messed up uh, when I was trying to review it, so I had to delete it. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to do this again, and I'm gonna make it two different tutorials. So each tutorial is gonna go over two plugins. Um, so I'm, I'm just trying if for for anyone who has not seen how to use these plugins or you haven't explored plugins yet you're not quite sure how to do it hopefully this will help you out um, so this first video on two plugins is going to be on the uh, change equip on battle mz which basically is going to allow the player to change equipment in battle it, it really surprises me that out of the box uh, the default setting does not allow the player to change equipment in battle. Uh, I will admit, I, I have not played very many RPG Maker games. Not really. Um, this may sound weird that I'm trying to learn how to make games in RPG Maker, and I haven't really played that many. But all the games I have played, most of the time, the game lets the player change equipment in battle. So the fact that it doesn't as a default and you have to uh, you have to uh, turn on a plugin was kind of surprising to me. The other one is the alt menu screen and that's really quick and easy it's really simple. And I will say that the the um four that are on the screen right now that you can see right now these all are in there they're ready to go when you create a new project uh, and in, in actuality there's one more there's five plugins that are automatically added apparently to your projects when you start them so they're really easy to find you don't have to go look for them you don't have to copy them from your steam library rpg maker mz uh, folders uh, and and then copy them to your project they're just there so um, let me let me just get my caveats out of the way uh, as I I've said uh, in my previous videos, or if this is the first one you're finding, you, this may you'll be the first time hearing this. Um, I'm still relatively new to RPG Maker itself. I have no programming experience, so I just started about a year ago, and uh, everything that I'm, you know, showing in my tutorials are things that. I've learned to do through other tutorials or by experimenting, exploring, trying things out, asking questions. I ask questions on RPG Maker Web uh, forum, uh, RPGMakerWeb.com, and then the forum. And uh, if you haven't joined that, I, I highly recommend that you do. A lot of great folks over there that will help out with questions. Um, so I'm still relatively new myself. What I'm trying to show are things that I've been able to make. Um, and I haven't necessarily seen a tutorial for it. So, you know, hopefully that if somebody else like me is new and they're searching, they'll be able to f discover this and it'll help them. Um, I also, uh, you know, I would never say that what I'm showing in my 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 videos is the best way to do something or the only way to do something or the most efficient way to do something it's just the way that i have figured out how to do it and i and it works and and that's all that there is for now um you know i may discover a better way later and i may do use that instead of what i'm doing now um so you know, uh, again, I'm, I'm not saying this is the, the best way to do it. I'm just trying to share things that work uh, to, to, you know, try to try to Im implement what you're trying to do. And, and it, it's all part of the learning process. Um, and I will say that I'm just barely learning, uh, learning to do plugins. So I haven't really done much with plugins, uh, you know, uh, at all. So that's a new area for me too. Uh, and then the last thing I will just say is, is, as I've said in my other, some of my other videos, I, I don't spend a lot of time making fancy maps or fancy graphics or, you know, intros and all this other stuff because, um, you know, I'm not really doing this for any purpose other than to try to get information out there to people who are looking for it. Uh, and, you know, Know, the I will invest time in maps and fancy stuff when um, when I'm actually you know putting my game together not just uh, figuring out how functionality works so with all that being said um, let me just show you uh, these these two things here so um, 
So first, I'll just show you how, how I got there if you haven't done anything with plugins yet. So when you're in your project, up here at the top, uh, right next to your um, uh, database, which you should be going to a lot, there is the plugin uh, manager. So when you open the plugin manager, um, usually this is empty, right, in a, in a new project. What you do is you just, you know, pick an empty, long, empty row, double click, Okay, or um, you probably could right click and yeah, edit, but I just I just always double click. And then in this empty looking window, you click on the name uh, field and that will show you the plugins that are available in that project. Okay, in that project that you have. And like I said, these five um, should be in every single project that you create. So when you click on one, it tells you a little information over here about what it does. Um, and then you click OK to make it available to um, essentially turn on and off. And so you have the alt menu screen, which is, is what I'll show you um, in a second. It, it just basically changes the layout of the menu when you press escape and it gives you your options like, you know, clicking on skills and items and weapons and things like that. There is the alt save screen, which I really haven't uh, explored yet because, you know, I, I haven't just seen the, the, the changes that it makes to your save load screen. Um, I did mention the button picture plugin in my previous uh, tutorial. And so I will do another um, tutorial of that next uh, because there, there are there is an additional feature to it that I was testing and, and it worked. So I want to show it. Um, and then there's that change equip on battle MZ. This is the one that allows the player to uh, change their equipment when they're actually in battle. And then text picture picture I went over in my last uh, tutorial as well. And again, I'm going to do it in, an, in the next tutorial just because I want to show how you can put the button picture and the text picture together and um, and some other things about the, the text, uh, the text picture itself. So again, you just pick one of these, which I already did, but for the sake of argument, I'll, I'll do uh, alt save screen this time, click OK. And when you get to this screen, it, it automatically turns the status to on. It tells you the author, it tells you a little bit of what it does, and then it, it gives you some help information. When I click OK, it's now on. So the status is on, and I don't want it to be on for this purposes, but that's how you add something. OK, and you just simply click on or off. OK, so the I have two two plugins active. These three are not active because I want I want to show you a comparison first. So I'm going to click apply and OK. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just in case, um, you know, just just so you'll see it one way and then you'll uh, be able to look at it uh, compared comparison. So when I first go to, I press escape on my keyboard, it pulls up the current menu. And as you can see, the, the, these options are on the right hand column. And then the, um, the party members are on the left hand column. So it's set up in two columns essentially is how it's set up. And then, um, you see, you have equip here, but that's outside of combat. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here items. So, um, you know, wooden staff, short bow, and knife. And when I go back here, um, read can only equip uh, a knife and a, um, and a long, a long sword. He can't equip the bow. He can't equip, equip the staff because of his class, okay? but he can't equip. Now I'm going to go over here to this tree ant and enter combat. Okay. Now when I click fight, and I scroll down, I have attack, special, shadow, those are things I added for other testing, testing other things, guard, and now item, and, and that's it. There's no equip. There's no equip. I can't change equipment. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of there. All right, now we're going to go and we're going to turn those two plugins on. So change equipment is on and alt menu is on. I'm going to apply and I'm going to click OK. Now... First thing we're going to do is we're going to go over and I'm going to get my, whoops, I'm going to get my, okay. Now I'm going to check my, so now you can see the difference in the way the menu is laid out. So rather than these things being in a column and the um, characters, the party members being in a column, now it's in, it's in rows. Okay. And, and there are different things you can do. Um, 
you know, uh, you, there's different ways with scripts and stuff. You can manipulate the menus and things, but, but th that plug, that's all that plugin does is it changes the way this menu appears and, uh, you don't have to, you don't use it in a command. You don't use it in an event. You don't use it in a common event. It just, it just does it. So once you turn this plugin on, this is how your menu is going to appear. Okay. So that's the first one. That's the alt menu screen. Now, when I go to combat, and I enter my combat. Now, when I click fight, I should see an option for equip, which I do. So now I click equip, and we'll see that read again can. I can switch between knife, or I can switch between longsword, right? Because that's what read can use. But you can use equip in battle, and so that's all that plugin does is it adds the option to equip when you're in battle. Okay, that, that's all it does. All right, so um, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show. So uh, again, the in your plugin, if this is blank, you just double click, click on the name field, and then all of your uh, plugins that you have available will be here. Okay, uh, and then you just select one, click OK, and it essentially it will add it to um, your list. And then you can turn them on and off as you deem necessary. Okay. Um, and then if you, there are a bunch of other plugins that do come with RPG Maker. And if you want those in your game and you want to test those, what you have to do is you have to go to your actual Steam library and go to your RPG Maker MZ. And then you should have a folder, I believe it's a DLC. Okay, um, and actually, I'll, I'll I'll see if I can um, trying to think that the best the best one if you don't know where your Steam library is, you know I can I know where mine is, but if you don't know where your Steam library is, one of the easiest ways to do is to go to um, your RPG Maker, right click, click on Manage, go to Browse Local Files, and it will open right up to that folder. So now I'm in my Steam library. Steam Apps, Common, RPG Maker MZ. I want to go to my DLC folder, and then these are, are things I downloaded because they were free, so I haven't really tested them yet, but you, do, you should have a basic resources folder. And inside that folder, there are pictures and plugins. And in the pictures, um, these are also things you can copy over. I believe the default in a project are, are these kind of um, bust uh, pictures. And then what you can do is you can also get these full pictures and copy them into this folder so that they're available in your game. The one thing I noticed is, is that I, if I remember correctly, the, the full figures and the busts are named the same. So if you copy them over, I, 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 if I remember correctly, I changed the names of all these so that in theory, I could have both the busts and the full body in the pictures so I could get access to them in my project. Um, but these are all available as well for you to copy over. And then in the plugins folder, you have the launch and the official. In the launch, these are all those plugins that you can add to your project. The five that are automatically there are, are still in this list. So you have the change equip on battle MZ. So all the rest of them you could in theory just copy and paste them into your project folder. So this is my project folder. So I would actually copy and paste, go to my project, and then I would go to the JS folder and I would go to plugins and then see here's the five already. And then I would just paste all the other plugins that I wanted to have access to in my project. Okay. And so uh, that's, that's the simple way of doing that. So, uh, and that's pretty much it. So it's those two plugins. Um, they're really easy to use. The, the two that I just highlighted, you, you don't actually have to do anything with them in, in any sort of eventing or anything. You just turn them on and they automatically work. They automatically make those features available to your player.
Um, so anyway, I hope this helps folks. Um, you know, uh, if, if this is helpful, you know, please consider liking, subscribing, getting notifications, leaving comments. Um, I do try to respond to all comments. Uh, if you have suggestions, if you have questions, um, if you have things you'd like, uh, to, to, you know, see if I can help you out with or, or, you know, make a tutorial for you, I'm happy to try. Um, worst case scenario is I just say, you know what, I, I that's beyond me. Uh, somebody else will have to help, uh, or maybe I can get help and then show it later. So uh, again, I hope this is helpful, folks. Uh, I'm just trying to give back so that if somebody is new like me and searching for things, they're more likely to find the answer to their question or find what they're looking for. Um, so I will try to get the next video up again in, in shortly to do the other two plugins. Um, and in the meantime, folks, I hope you have a great holiday. Uh, wherever you are in the world, whatever you celebrate, I hope you have a great holiday season here. And um, uh, happy holidays. Uh, have a great great afternoon and happy gaming and happy game developing. Uh, and I'll see everybody later. Bye.